Hey, I'm Jazzy. I'm Chris. And we're... Artsy, Artsy Kids! Kids. or seven years um, and before that I did a lot of other different types of artworks. Art tells a story so I create the art to tell a certain story um, but if my art can remind people of something in their life or provide some level of comfort that's sort of what it represents to me, sort of the inspiration, the comfort feel of it. It's so tactile. You can make amazing colours um, just by mixing them together. There's two different styles I have. One is pointillism, which is lots of little dots to form a picture. And that was the first style I really came up with and just thought about combining the dot art with the polymer clay. Um, and instead of cutting it all up like the jewellery artists do, I just wanted to leave it because I thought it looked great. So I wanted to leave it as an artwork. And so that's really how the pointillism side came about. And then I dabbled in uh, polymer clay painting, which is just really where you smear the um, clay on like it's paint. And so the, the finish is, it looks a little bit more like paint but you can still add the texture in there and I've done a few sculptural elements as well. When you're an artist, you always feel like you're an artist. Like when I was a child, I'd, I'd draw pictures. I would, I've got sketchbooks from when I was a teenager filled with people's faces. I was mostly doing, doing portrait type things back then. I probably got a few different inspirations. Um, so I have my Christian faith. So sometimes I might be reading something or hearing something or I might just get an image appear in my mind and I just feel the need that I have to create an artwork based on that. Um, other times I might just see a beautiful piece of nature. I just love looking at the sky, looking at the sunsets, the sunrises. I love going to the beach. You know, all the beautiful um, colours that are in the world. I just love that. And also the way light appears um, when you're looking at it so how the sun reflects off the water or or maybe you're looking up into the canopy of the tree and you can see the the light um, coming through i just i've always loved that sort of a representation in art as well so i try to reflect some of that in my artwork so i never really keep track of how I've created those colours. Just, I guess over time you develop an idea of, it's like any other artist, um, the sort of colour you're after, and you know what bits of colour to mix together to form the new ones. So it's really just um, thinking about the sort of artwork I want to create and um, thinking about the colours that I have. You know, you only need a few colours and you can mix quite a few just from those. Um, I just, I mix the main colours first, so it's like having an artist palette, you've got, you put your paint there, or I put my clay there, the colours that I think I'm going to use, but then as I go along, I'm mixing colours together to form new colours. As an artist, you have the inherent um, need to create something, so if you go a little while without creating something, you really feel the need that you have to create something. Getting there, especially with the clay, as I said, because it's very tactile, um, you can just focus on that, focus on the colours as they're coming up, especially in the polymer clay painting I do. Um, just relishing in the beautiful colours that I'm creating, or with the um, pointillism artwork, just focusing on rolling lots of little balls of clay at 
it takes you away from what's happening in the world and you can just focus on creating something beautiful. Everyone says they just love the texture, love feeling it. You know, so it's the gift that keeps on giving really, isn't it? Um, it helps me, it helps you, it's, it's really good. I think it's not, not being afraid to have a go and just try different things and you never know where you'll end up really. And I hope that kids realise that they can just give it a go and come up with something beautiful, no matter what. Hey Chris, I need your help. No you don't. Come on, I'm trying to make a new artwork inspired by Leah's. Fine. Thank you. You having fun yet? Actually, I think I am. Thanks for watching. Check in next month to get inspired by another artist.